Now, Gideon Rose is editor of Foreign Affairs, an influential magazine among U.S. policymakers. He was also a National Security Council official in the Clinton administration. I spoke to him a short while ago, and I asked him what kind of mission the United States was engaged in in Libya. You know, that's a great question because no one really knows. Uh, we started out with a humanitarian operation and a no-fly zone designed to protect civilians, but the problem always was that that was at best an interim solution that didn't have an endpoint and didn't really solve the underlying problem, which was that you have a sort of aggressive, nasty ruler in Libya who wants to reassert full control over his country. So the question now is, now that you're protecting the civilians uh, in the rebel areas, uh, what next? And nobody really knows. You said in a previous interview um, that there was a lot of, quote, happy talk coming out of the administration. I explain to our audience what you mean by that. Well, what I mean by that particular happy talk uh, that the administration is spouting is that they think that American involvement can be limited and that they've achieved the goals that they initially set out, which is to stop the massacres. And all that's true, but the problem is that you can't continue to achieve that goal or ultimately deal with the problem of Gaddafi and who will rule Libya without much greater American involvement or much longer American involvement, I think. And so the, uh, the real thing that I worry about is the administration, in effect, promising everybody that the American role will be limited in time and duration uh, and nature uh, and, and scale. Uh, but essentially having no real plans for how to achieve a successful mission if the limits are actually observed. And what about the U.S.'s role in any post-Gaddafi Libya? Can you imagine the United States not wanting to run, run things in some way, shape or form in that kind of situation? I can certainly imagine them not wanting to try to run things. Uh, in fact, the administration has shown all throughout a, a severe distaste for doing anything in Libya. But that hasn't stopped them from engaging the operation in the first place and getting involved. And so the question is not will they want to be involved, but will they prefer to be involved or see chaos erupt on the ground in Libya should the dog ever catch the car that it's chasing uh, and should we actually ever topple Gaddafi? So what do you think the, the end game is here, especially for the United States? How do, you, how do you see it ending? Nobody has any clue, which is the chief uh, problem with this operation. I wrote an entire book basically arguing that the best way to finish a conflict uh, clearly and smoothly and successfully is to know what you're trying to do and build a plan that works backward from that point uh, and takes you there. This was a conflict started in a classic fashion because we wanted to do something about an immediate problem, but had no thoughts of what the long-term outcome would be. So right now, the administration needs to figure out what it wants to see on the ground in Libya at the end of the day, and then develop a plan that takes it there. And right now, nobody is doing that kind of thinking.